Welcome back. If you're new, please subscribe. This is the 10 week update on the which worms reproduce the best. Started out with four African night crawlers, four European night crawlers, and four red wigglers 10 weeks ago. And it's been two weeks since the last update. Let's take a look. Start off with the ANCs. I think we fed this corner last time. Put some ooey gooey banana. That was a little baby, but I don't think it is. Alright, so there's one of our youngins getting. Oh, there's another one. So we got one tiny. Tiny, tiny one, and one got a little size to it. We'll set them up there. There's another little tiny one. another one I'd say that was probably one of the adults mature ones it's been over five minutes looking so we definitely got three matures and there's a tiny baby in there, right on top of focus, right there. So we got our three matures, and then another tiny baby, and a decent size. Get them put back in there. And obviously, you see how small that one is. There could still be more in there that I just can't see. And so, I spent enough time looking. Move on to the European night crawlers. A few little gnats flying around. Let's see, just fed in the same front corner here. I've already seen one poking its There's a cocoon right there with the food. Let's see, number two. Put them up there. Uh, 
Oh, there's a youngin. Another little one. And another little one. There's another mature. Another baby. Where'd you go? Right there. Another mature, and big and fat. These other guys are trying to take off, so we get definitely got one, two. Number five. I'm thinking that smallest one of the four was one of the babies. There's another baby. There's another baby. So we got several babies. I lost count, but there's definitely one, two, three, four, five. Get them back in there. And the Red Wigglers. Let's see what we got here. There's one right off the bat. That's a pretty good size one, actually. Big old clitellum. It gets ready to pop out a cocoon. There's a little guy, Nicholas licking on yourself, being all loud. Nick, why are you even in the kennel? The door is wide open. Crazy. There's another, another big one and a little bitty baby right on top of it. So that's two and two.
another baby little thing Put them back over there in their corner. Make sure I got them. And I'll go ahead and check this corner. I think that was the place we fed week before. There's a little bitty one. There's a cocoon. Another cocoon. There's another mature. Well, I've definitely found three matures. I think the other one's hiding from us. There was another cocoon. And then there's the fourth one. So we got our four matures. Grab some food. Same old, same old on banana. Got a piece of banana. And it's all about the same size. Just gonna do a teaspoon. Teaspoon of crushed oyster shell for all three. Well, we got to see a few new babies. I guess the African Nightcrawler, the fourth one's gone because I couldn't find it again today. I'm not sure how that's going to affect the experiment. I'm sure it will a little, a little bit, but from Lilia and Emily, seems like the Red Wigglers are doing the best. Uh, for me, it looks like the Europeans and the Red Wigglers are kind of tied right now. We'll give it a few more weeks before I do another update. I think the two weeks was plenty, plenty long enough for me. Thanks for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment. And until next time, have a great day.